by Fav than uh, than than awesome play by Remind. But we will get to uh, to all that later. And now Remind, you shouldn't uh, try to overstay your welcome because uh, Undead will either have a Frost Tower or once they get the upgrade, their main turns into a Frost Tower. So that's really bad. And the last thing you want is to get your Demon Hunter, which is already forced to TP once, uh, get it surrounded again. And players like Remind, they can't afford to. Uh, to play so straightforward, he doesn't even have a staff of teleportation to get out if needed. He's just uh, doing his thing. He's pretty convinced that he's uh, he's not going to get surrounded anytime soon. And then there's still the immolation he's got. So uh, Remind pretty, was pretty confident that he wouldn't been able uh, that he wouldn't wouldn't have gotten surrounded over there. And now take a look at his base. He's going for the Ancient of War. But now Ted will be incoming. This is also a really annoying part of the uh, of when you're playing against Gargs. At tier two, the undead will come in, flying with a two, with a with a gargar two, uh, come in with a lot of ghouls, death knight heal pot on him uh, to prevent uh, the death knight from becoming the main uh, the main focus or perhaps even dying. So uh, this is a really awesome timing here by Fav. Remind is out creeping with the panda. Lore gets cancelled. Another detonate, which means less lumber again for uh, for Mr. Remind and now all those wisps are there you shouldn't uh, try to knot your wisps together like that uh, you should always try to spread them out more even when they're in your base you can put like one on the left, one on the bottom and one on the right in this situation. Really nice wisp, st wisp staff here by Remind also a move I recommend using especially when you're playing against gargoyles and you don't have anything else to staff at the moment because there's nothing much that Fof would have been able to uh, to take out if Remind was here with his army so he could afford to stab that wisp and then uh, save himself some lumber. When you're playing against Gargs, multitasking is really important. You have to uh, make sure you move your wisp around while you're defending against the harassment while you're harassing with your demon hunter. That's basically the three most important things you gotta do when you're playing against Gargoyles. And here, a bit sloppy micro by Remind. Pretty unnecessary to lose that wisp, but uh, Remind <laughs> may often seem like a god, but in fact he's still human. Uh, mistakes like that can happen. Also, a really nice scout here by Fav on the Wisp that was used to build the Hunter's Hall all the way to the back. And all the way to the back, I mean uh, all the way at the, the Goblin Merchant. And this is really the worst part of playing against Gargs. He's, he's trying to get an Ancient Protector up uh, to the front of his base. And the reason why he's building it over there is because um, that way there will... <laughs> He will always be uh, be guarding his wisp, but his moon wells will be unprotected. But if you build it in a cove like this, and you can move your wisp around, you will also you will always have a uh, full attack on uh, on the unit. And well, this remind is trying to pull the creeps. He's got to get that panda to level three, and he's also got to get his tear to level three. He's got to get the uh, the orb of venom, which is really useful for fighting off gargoyles, and it's it's not even useful. It's pretty much essential in this matchup, and uh, against this strategy, pretty unlucky by five here that's getting his ghoul uh, ensnared. And here in these situations when you're trying to fight off some uh, some ghoul gar harassment, and you're when you got a small skirmish, you got to. Uh, if it's, if it's possible, you, you basically gotta uh, force the gargoyles to go away, as Remind is doing over here, um, by doing a Drunken Haze Breath of Fire, and in the meantime, trying to take out a ghoul or two. And here, this is pretty sloppy by Remind with his Forceful Berserker. I don't know if he's going to heal that one, but I don't think... No, he won't, he won't manage to, but uh, that's the... Uh, and that really doesn't have to do that much when he's Garg harassing, but Elf is really have to... Uh, has to do several things at the same time, like uh, microing your heroes, microing your dryads, uh, trying to defend your wisp, and have every unit. Uh, 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 you gotta be take care of every single unit in your arsenal, well, and that only has to take care of the gargoyles and the hero. So that's uh, so that's pretty much the uh, the thing that and that forces on you. So you you have to. Uh, able to multitask, you can't tech, you can't creep, you can't really do you can't really do much against this harassment. And Remind has uh, been wise to build another lore all the way to the back. But uh, there's always uh, an up and down side on this. It's the upside is that your uh, lore will be able to produce if it doesn't get scouted. The downside is that it will most likely die in the end anyway because of some gargoyles ganking on it. And take a look at Remind's base now. He's just got a lot of dryads. A uh, nice creep steal there by Fav. Uh, uh, the Panorama Brewmaster doesn't get to level 3 this way. And I also rec highly recommend using uh, as much moonstones as you can in this situation because 
when you don't have Druids of the Claw yet, you don't have any sufficient healing, uh, any uh, awesome, any good healing for your uh, for your heroes. And when you don't have that, you gotta rely on Moonwells. And Moonwells only refill at night, and that's why you should get Moonstones to uh, to get your moon uh, to get some extra more mana in your Moonwells. And we'll basically remind. Uh, is forced to, uh, to 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 not do much. I think he will tech. Nah, I will tech. And take a look at the food count. It's 45 over 50. Take a look at Fav. Got only got 39 over 50. Building a slaughterhouse at the moment. Getting a lich. And as you can see, he's, he's still harassing on the wisp of Remind. Take a look at the lumber of Remind. He's got 240 now. He's got a pretty nice amount of wisp right now, including the the three or four that are still spread out across the map. Uh, he's come to a grand total of. Nine wisp, maybe ten wisp. So that that's uh, that's enough to uh, to start your tech and get going to bears and to an orb, more importantly. And remind has decided to to go and spread out his wisp even more. He's getting uh, a tree of life at the bottom. He's going for the expo, as I mentioned before in the previous commentary or in the previous uh, game that I commentated on in this audio. That uh, it's really important for. Um, for Night Elf to, uh, wow, I really don't know what I said, ah, to, uh, to go for the Axe Band, because Undead is able to win with mon one mine against multiple mines, uh, with, rel with relative ease, it doesn't really, uh, because they're able to, to pressure the Elf so well with, uh, with their racial abilities, um, that Elf is pretty much needed of an Expo, and the key point to playing Elf against Undead is, uh, to always, uh, try to get an Expo up uh, when the Undead isn't expecting it. And Fav is expecting it at this point, but he's not able to cancel that expo. He would have lost uh, a pretty nice amount of Garg, so it's not worth uh, for Fav to uh, to go in here and uh, try to take out that expo. And that's that's pretty well done by Remind. He was around when uh, when Fav was around, basically, and he's just uh, leaving his Spanner and Brewmaster there with a couple of Dryads while uh, going to harass with his Demon Hunter. And here. Drunken Haze goes off. Really nice uh, stone form used there by uh, by Mr. Foff, but he does lose. Wow, well, he only loses one gargoyle. Uh, good harassment there by Foff, and what you, what hap what happens? Oh wait, this is bad by Foff. Uh, losing another gargoyle uh, really unnecessarily. And as an undead player, when you're um, uh, playing against a Panda and Brewmaster, and he's going to Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire you, Breath of Fire you. Once uh, the elf casts Drunken Haze, if you use your stone form ability, it will dispel the Drunken Haze and it will reduce the damage caused by the Drunken Haze Breath of Fire combo because your gargoyles won't be on fire uh, after the Breath of Fire is cast because they're not, no longer uh, drenched in alcohol. And that's really essential uh, if you're playing Undead to do when you're playing against Night Elf. Once the Night Elf does his Drunken Haze, always try to stone form. It's uh, it's really beneficial, and you won't have to uh, burn as much heal scrolls, and your gargoyles won't be missing uh, a certain percentage of their attacks. And Remind bought his uh, his orb now. He's got two two staffs. He's dropping one. He isn't picking it up. The uh, Panoram Brewmaster's got a full inventory already. I think he's going to sell his um, his cloak of shadows pretty soon. And it's also really important for Night Elf to uh, to get a double staff going with the with the dryads. Uh, dryads are able to run away from uh, from frost worms, but the heroes aren't. And if you're able to uh, to staff away both your heroes, you're uh, you're pretty you're in pretty good shape. And when one hero's got the TP, other hero's got the staff of t of teleportation. Uh, that's really essential. And the reason why he's got the staff of teleportation is. Uh, because most like usually the Pandaren Brewmaster will be uh, the center of attention in the battle, or the Demon Hunter. And when the Pandaren Brewmaster gets uh, gets low on mana or gets low on HP, you can simply staff away the Pandaren Brewmaster, heal him up quickly at your Moonwells, even grab a potion or whatever items you may need, and then simply staff it back towards your Demon Hunter. And what you gotta watch out for is that you're not staffing it accidentally to like a low HP Dryad or something, which could get focused on heavily. And here, Remind is uh, going for some harassment on the acolytes of uh, Fav. Really nice move here by Remind. And, and uh, he did use a um, reveal ability of the uh, Goblin Laboratory to see if there was any uh, shade following him. But there were no shades produced uh, by Fav. And he manages to take out a Ziggurat. Uh, tr two acolytes went down. 
And this is a really nice uh, fight, uh, really nice uh, fight here for Riemann, but he's 